Hi, I'm Jennifer from Shabby Fabrics. This beautiful quilt behind us was designed right here at Shabby Fabrics by our design team. It's called Forever Valentine. It's now the cover of our current catalog. By the way, if you aren't already receiving the catalog to your home, just go to the Shabby Fabrics website at the very top of the website. There's a link that says free catalog. Click that. You'll not only be able to view the catalog right there on the website, but you'll be able to request a free copy of our full color catalog. And it's absolutely beautiful. Chock full of projects, inspiration, and lovely design and photography. So yes, it made the cover of the catalog. And one of the, one of the things I want to tell you about today is how do you make the 3D flowers? Just came back from Road to California. Lots of quilters saw the quilt and that was one of the first questions they asked and they kept asking, how do you make the three-dimensional flowers? So I wanted to show it to you. Um, in your kit, if you are getting the kit, you will get a sheet of these. This is made out of wool felt and the outline of that petal is there. Be sure when you cut that out, you, should, you cut just inside the drawn line and I've already done that ahead of time. Five petals, of course, per flower. Um, one lady did not want the, the petals to be three-dimensional lifted, um, and so she was just going to sew that petal to the background. Always an option for you, but if you like the three-dimension, what I recommend that you do is uh, go ahead and thread a needle with a double strand of saw, um, thread and you may even want to consider a quilting thread, a very heavy thread because you are going to be pulling on this as you gather the petals to form um, the circle. So the first thing I recommend that you do is just come in and if you want to have a lot of dimension, a lot of tuck, you're going to take kind of bigger bites. And what I mean by the bigger bites is rather than taking really tiny stitches like I'm showing here, you're not going to get a whole lot of gathering, but if I come here, come there and do a big kind of a big uh, kind of a stitch across a greater distance, I'm going to have more of a tuck when I gather that up. So let's just do that with the other ones. And I'm trying to hit about the same point on each petal. This is one of the things I call make it work. You've heard me say that before. If you've watched any of our videos, it's not a, a strict formula. You're just trying to basically get these flowers to be in a circle and have a nice little tuck so that the petals lift off the background and you have some dimension. There we go. I think that's about right. Now I'm going to just start pulling on that thread. Let's just start pulling. And when I come to, let me get that out of the way. When I come around like this, I actually come around twice. Just seems to help. Let's see here. Let's get it all gathered up where we want it. Yes, there we go. Now, now I'm going to go really get snug with that. And I'm going to go around one more time. So I kind of lock that in. All right. So I'm going to trim the one thread, but not both because while that's still threaded, I'm going to go to my background fabric. And I've just picked a, a pretty piece of flannel. This is from the Welcome Home collection. And I'm just going to stitch that down. I'm just going through the center a couple times. And of course, I don't want to go around these outside petals because that's the part that's the dimension. That's that's the part that's lifted and you want that to be lifted off the background. Um, a lady asked me, what if I want to wash the quilt? Um, this isn't going to work well, to be honest with you. If you're planning to wash the quilt, you may want to stitch your petals all the way down. I don't wash quilts like this. I have no reason to wash quilts like this. Quilts that are on my bed, absolutely, or on my couch, they get washed a lot. But a quilt like this, and I'm displaying for Valentine's, I'm, not, I'm probably never going to wash that quilt, to be honest with you. So if you did, for some reason, um, need to wash the quilt, you may need to remove the petals and then put them back afterwards. So I just want to mention that. Once you have that stitched down, I just came up through the center with a pretty button that I like. That's a nice shank in the back. 
and just came back down. And again, you're just gonna secure everything to the back and there's your beautiful flower. So that's all there is to making three-dimensional flowers with shabby fabrics. <laughs>